The other thing which you kind of little bit mentioned about CRM moving on cloud, but I have always heard your views about cloud yeah. and how foresters have adopted uh, to the strategy on like uh, while when you're doing this transformation, how you have moved to cloud. Can you talk about that? Like wh what has been the principles and how you have been executing them? Yeah, so um, I think uh, my perspective in general is uh, more sort of practical and um, lo you know, considering economics, you know, significantly when I make or or promote uh, uh, these types of technology decisions. So I think over the last decade, you know, from a cloud standpoint, we have looked at uh, moving existing workloads and existing systems to the cloud um, almost in every situation. But the cost benefit analysis has never, you know, uh, turned out to be favorable. Mm -hmm. So our strategy is really as a, you know, it's hybrid cloud. So what we've done is we've moved, you know, we, uh, we've we already moved, uh, you know, based on a relationship with CGI, our infrastructure is already in sort of outsourced, uh, you know, uh, data centers, you know, that are sophisticated with uh, good sort of cost management, et cetera. So that happened many years ago. So you know, sometimes, you know, these cloud migrations make sense for big companies who are running their own data centers uh, so they can get away, get out of the data center business. I don't have that problem because I have, you know, I use, uh, you know, the CGI data centers. Uh, secondly, you know, we uh, modernized our uh, entire sort of data center and server environment by moving to hyper-converged infrastructure maybe five, six years ago. And that helped us, uh, you know, manage costs uh, significantly, and also create a uh, sort of private cloud type infrastructure mm -hmm. within data centers that we control, you know, through yeah. CGI. Yeah. And uh, so I already, so first, you know, I took some cost out by going into CGI's data centers. Then while in CGI's data centers, I upgraded and modernized the infrastructure to go on hyperconverged. That took more cost out. So in that environment. Uh, whenever I compared, you know, my existing costs on infrastructure, on hyperconverged, on CGI, uh, or in CGI data centers, uh, the cloud option always turned out to be more expensive. And then, you know, we all know what happens, you know, two, three years after you move to the cloud, you know, and, you know, Microsoft, Amazon, you know, really start uh, managing the, uh, the the unit rates that they charge you, it turns out to be even less favorable. Yeah. Yeah. at that time so now we are actually so so that was sort of how we tackled it initially and then as we modernized all our uh, core systems and our applications uh, whenever we move to a, a SaaS solution offered by a vendor we all, obviously automatically are in that cloud in uh, yeah. you know infrastructure that the vendor operates in uh, so we've done that with our recent CRM, you know, um, you know, on Azure with Dynamics, uh, Contact Center, uh, et cetera. So, um, so it's sort of a hybrid cloud uh, approach. But now we are actually uh, more intentionally, you know, with the, you know, uh, advancement in technology, uh, we are actually now seeing that in, a, in some cases we can actually uh, make the business case work in moving existing workloads uh, to the public cloud, um, you know, and give us good uh, sort of uh, cost benefit, as well as ability to uh, get the other sort of um, uh, intangible or non-financial benefits of uh, moving to the cloud. Cloud, the elasticity and others. Right.